Hey guys, today I'm going to show you one of the best uh, applications for offline music on your iPhone that you can get right now on the App Store. And why is it the best? Because it's mainly focused on music, not anything else, but just music, importing music from all of the different sources you have in here. So listening to that music, repeat, all of its settings, everything that it has, I'm going to show you guys in this video. So stick around and let's begin. And okay, so let's start with downloading music. So first of all, you could actually go ahead and download music using the default Safari browser on your iPhone. Apple actually introduced uh, this official way to do this on the iOS 13. And additionally, I'm gonna also link for you guys down below in the comments section, the website where you can get this music from. It has a lot of different music on it, so it's a music library. And after this, after you've downloaded uh, the songs you guys wanted, just go ahead and click uh, here on the top right corner in this cloud button and then click on the files app and after this you will see your downloads folder with all of your music that you've just downloaded and of course you can go ahead and click on that music and import it into the melodista and after this of course you will see this music right here on top and there is one cool feature that i always use after i import music is i basically do like this and then click on edit and i can now edit the cover art plus the title and artist and if you guys don't have any images so let's say this cover art you can click on this uh, uh, identify cover uh, feature this is actually an official feature and melodista will try to find that cover for you so you don't need to actually manually browse, um, browse it through the internet and after this just click on save and that uh, this whole track uh, data will be saved into your track so let's go ahead and play any song from here so let's see uh, this one so let me just open up the melodista and of course volume down but as you can see this player looks it's really really nice i mean the controls are really like from apple music plus it has one additional feature as you can see this whole view is now uh has the the, the actual color from the artwork so it's kind of let's say an adaptive dynamic adaptive uh, view or something like this so it's a really really nice uh, feature and effect uh, so i do really like this and you can actually go ahead and uh, turn this off in the settings but that's a little bit later and of course there is a pause play uh, feature but now we're gonna go inside these three dots and there's a bunch of features in here so first of all the slip timer this will uh, deactivate and actually pause the music after some time as you can see at uh, different time intervals uh, and then of course we've got uh, playback speed so you can set the playback speed to 1.2 1.1 uh, normal uh, slower so faster anything you guys want which is really handy for audiobooks uh, then of course you can shuffle all of this songs there is also a lyrics feature which is actually new um, and was released in the previous update so now let's see if it finds any lyrics so yeah there is a lyrics uh, so it's automatically connected to genius and now can find all of your lyrics for the current song which is really nice uh, and as you can see guys all of these features I mean they're all free for you to use I mean there are no restrictions whatsoever for all of these uh, features of course edit title or cover art I've already shown you guys this one and you can share the song using uh, airdrop or any messengers let's say with all of your friends which is really really nice uh, so yeah let's minimize players so there is also here a little bit of settings you can of course uh, sort all of the songs they are uh, automatically sorted um, uh, by newest first you can also apply some other sorting options in here but now let's move on to the settings and let me show you some more uh, features in here so there is a dark mode so you guys really like dark mode and I know it so there is a dark mode uh, I really like it as well but just for this video I'm gonna turn this one off so you'll show uh, you will see the whole view uh, even better uh, so there is also the color colorful player animation I've already shown you guys this one and there is also the haptic feedback on the iPhone if you press any of these buttons this will provide a really nice haptic feedback so you'll feel how you actually skip you know pause music and everything like that and yeah guys I mean that should be pretty much it for today just wanted to quickly show you all of the new features of Melodista and how you can quickly put music inside of this player and let me guys know in the comment section below your whole opinion about this player new features you want to see anything like this and as always guys have a great music experience and listening experience and peace out